You're watching Heartland Football Friday, sponsored by EBOMD. And welcome back to Heartland Football Friday. You know, some concerns about the rain, the weather. Hey, it was a factor, but you know what? Our photographers fought right through it. And we're going to get back to some more highlights. The Haytai Indians visiting the unbeaten Scott City Rams. Scott City, a new coach, looking to go 3-0 and and under Coach Bo. And here they go, right here, some nice plays. Jackson Gloth, the pass to Lane Holder, and he caught that thing. How about that? Then Gloth to Lane Miller. Beautiful play, beautiful pass, and Miller literally catches it and just limps into the end zone. Quite a play. Boy, I'll tell you what, though, hey, Ty, not going away. Isaiah Love with some great running. Boy, kind of like shot out of a cannon right there for good yardage. And then a beautiful play coming up right here. J.C. Ford to Isaiah Love. He's got himself one right there. Hey, Ty, what a game, what a win. 32 to 20, they hand the Rams their first loss of the young season. Now, the Charleston Blue Jays, they can score in a lot of ways. An explosive team looking for a win at home against the Malden Green Wave. Out to the home of the Blue Jays. And hey, it was beautiful early, right? The weather was perfect to get things started at times when you were able to miss the rain. This is Trenna's Lane, the touchdown right there for those Blue Jays. They can push that thing around. They've got some weapons. You may have also heard the name this season, Bernard Betts. And Betts can do a lot. And this is an awful lot. He picks it up, he looks for his lane, and number one is gone. All the way for a Charleston touchdown. He goes the distance. Now, there was absolutely, positively, no quit in this Malden ball club. They kept working. They come back here and get themselves an interception. Again, no quit, but boy, I'll tell you what, they were up against it against the Blue Jays. 54 to 20. Charleston gets a big W at home. All right, we've got more. Chaffee at East Prairie. At East Prairie's Braylon K, number 11. He says, tackles? What tackles? He just keeps fighting his way through. Tavion Ware, huge game for this guy as well. He busts his way in for the touchdown right there. Talked about Braylon Cade just a little bit earlier, right? Well, he would get into the act a little later, but Chaffee trying themselves with the short pass. But we're back to number 11. He would steal the show. East Prairie, a dominating performance. The Eagles at home roll 52 to 21, the final score. All right. Time now to head to, to the West Frankfurt Redbirds. Hey, what a start for them. Looking to start 3-0. Now there were some uh, lightning issues and other things out here. This game got delayed a little bit, but we're able to get a couple of early plays. Got some help out of the fine folks at West Frankfurt. How about the nice pass to Cameron Joyner? If you ask me, that one's worth watching again. Let's do it. Joyner again. Watch the beautiful grab along the sidelines, hauls it in. But at last check, 21 to eight at halftime, Carterville with the lead at home. All right, you know, we have a lot of plays. Some of the plays go the distance, some turn the game around, and some are just flat out exciting. Tonight's our Heartland Football Friday Game Changer. The Game Changer, sponsored by TrustWorks Mid-America. St. Vincent at Perryville, Perryville with the pick, Evan Hayden. They had a big lead at halftime. But again, St. Vincent came back to steal this one for you. I say steal, they're a great football team. They found a way to win. A great interception for Perryville, our game changer. We'll be back with our play of the night and more right after this timeout. 